All right, I'm out here at the old sticker patch today. I'm gonna do a little master special. Got my master's color shirt on. Uh, it's just green. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a little bit of a challenge. I received in the mail just a while ago a square strike. And I got it from Stacked Golf. They've got a very popular YouTube channel. You go check them out. I'll put a link down in the description. But they drew my name on a 50K uh, drawing when they had their 50K subscrib uh, subscriber special. And uh, and I won it, so they sent it to me, and I'm out here trying to see which one plays better. I've got a Mazel too that looks just like it, just a different brand. I mean, it looks exactly like, except it's got a black head on it, black insert. They're both 45 degrees, and I did hit my head there. So we're playing it around the course to see which one. So we're doing the par three challenge to see who wins there, the master's challenge, I call it, between those two. Here we go, we'll play the first hole. a little trick if you ever use one of those uh, Mazel or the square strike uh, you kind of turn them in a little bit close the face at impact I think that'll help because because of the heavier head people tend to leave them a little bit open so just if you get one of those try that see how it works for you all right it looks like the uh, square strike is up there the white ball out drove the yellow Callaway with the mazzles, but we're gonna play the mazzle first, try to get it on the green. Need a little bit more into it. Now it's first start. Did hit the ground there, so not used to these clubs. like a bogey for the uh, square strike. Same result. Oh! So that's some poor putting by me, but uh, the square strike is up by one so far. Had a bogey with that one, and a double. Anyway, on to the next hole. All right, see if we can use the we use Mazda first to close this one. Now, square strike. Yeah. Looks better, a lot closer than the uh, Mazel was. So. Got a bogey with the mazzle ball. Alright, now see if we can get the square shot to it. Come on, Golden Bear. Welcome, Master Winner, Jack Nicholas. Oh, so close. Alright, so far, Matt, the, uh, Sorry, the square strike is still one up on the par threes.
Yeah, I'm not as good at, as uh, John from Stack Golf hitting that those chippers. The full distance, 130 yards, but it's down there, a little bit left. So we got to chip in, try to get a par. Maswell needs a birdie, high uh, square strike. Let's see if we can't get him down. Square strike Okay, you gotta try to make a car from there for the map. That wind is howling. That is a bogey. So they both tied the last hole with bogeys, so that puts the square strike in front. So square strike wins the chipper wedge challenge masters or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, so that's it for that's it for that. I, I, I tell you what, both clubs for a high handicap player, maybe this beginner, I think it's a little perfect. It's more perfect for them. But it actually could work for any player that just wants to hit, you know, 60, 80 yards. And, uh, but they look exactly the same. So there's really not any difference in either one of them. I will say that the square strike looks like it's turned into just a little bit, a little bit more offset maybe. But uh, both of them, I handle about the same way. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Uh, be sure, please like and subscribe if you would, and we'll see you later. Thanks.